Hey, what's going on YouTube? Well, it is Sunday, September 8th, I think, maybe 9th. So I thought I would give you guys a, a update on how my mobile car cleaning slash express detailing uh, business ramp up's going. And I uh, thought I'd show you how I'm doing it for any of you all that are looking to do maybe the same. Um, here, I've just got uh, just a white bucket I spray paint it black that way I knew that it was my designated wheel bucket I've got my brushes my rim scrubbers lug nut brushes polisher this is one of those mothers uh, round polishing wheels and I got my tire shine here's my everyday bag okay this has got my compounds my degreasers my window wipes my interior sprays and cleaners and yeah, I'm going with a lot of stuff that's just off the shelf. Like this is, I believe, the uh, headlight restoration kit, and this is the clay bars. Just because they're a little bit cheaper. And Meguiar's make some good quality stuff, so I'm not ashamed to use their stuff going out and doing multiple vehicles. So I've also got a couple uh, glass towels in here, and I've got just some regular run-of-the-mill microfibers in the bottom. You know, kind of don't mind getting greasy or dirty or funky. And this is like a speedy stone uh, i had something similar to this a long time ago it's for getting like cat hair and dog hair out of the seats um here i've got a gas can for my generator and then that's extra rags uh towels microfiber towels chamois uh it's got all my gallon containers of like uh final inspection and stuff like that uh you can see the air compressor i had to upgrade the air compressors because it wasn't uh heavy enough to run this this is a tornador and i also have a foam gun here the pound using i think i might try this out before i buy the extractor um that's one tool that i want to have i might just use this and get a steam machine because this just does just such an excellent job on headliners and carpets and seats and it does everything even with just plain air and water it's amazing kind of expensive but if you're going to do this stuff you really kind of need it uh i've got my two buckets grit guards and you know the uh towels and everything as you can see here, I'm filling up my water tank. Uh, I'm probably only going to do about 25 or 30 gallons. And I notice I have a leak on the ship. Yeah, I don't know if I showed you guys this or not. I don't know where that's coming from. Let me turn this water off real quick. This is something I've been working on for the last couple days, is trying to find out where these leaks are coming from. I don't know if I showed you this before. So this right here is my water filter setup. Uh, this one here is a uh, water filter. This here is a water softener. Um, you run your water through a filter and a softener and it helps you keep from getting water spots when you do a car, especially when you pressure wash and some of the little spots dry. You don't have those spots anymore. They're such a pain in the ass to uh, get out. But yeah, I've got a leak someplace and I've been trying to locate it, but it seems like it just keeps popping up. I don't think it's there. This one I had to use a 3M ring grade sealant and seal that fitting. So I'm kind of curious. Maybe it just needs to be tightened. I don't think I actually tightened it good enough. But anyway, and another thing is trying to pull the water from the tank through that filter in the pressure washer. If the line is completely primed, that pressure washer will pull it through the filters and the tank. But if it's not primed, it won't do anything. So what I'm doing is I'm actually running a hose, as you can see here, to here, going through both my filters, and then from here, I'm taking it to fill my tank. That way I know my water's been filtered. And I ordered a inline 12-volt uh, electric pump, and I can't remember, I think it does like 300 some odd gallons an hour that I'm going to put in between here and here to push it through the pump. That way I know the pressure washer is going to get supplied and as soon as I find this pump, I'm going to, uh, or find this leak, I'm going to continue filling my water up. And I've got two cars I'm going to do today. And so that'll be $110 out of two cars just on my basic wash service. So I'm going to get this about halfway full and then I'm going to head out. But I thought I'd give you guys an update on how I'm setting my van up in case you guys might want to do the same thing. Now... Also, if you're going to set up a van, I would seriously think about getting a uh, some type of inverter or a sine wave inverter. Have it professionally mounted in your van so 
you know, we still have uh, several hot days left in the fall. And I'm thinking about getting a fan, something that I can hook up here without running the generator and just have a fan, have a nice little breeze, you know, or I might get a chair and put it in here once I get a little bit better organized. I plan on having it set up where I can mount stuff where those windows are. Um, I'm going to block them off. Uh, I guess maybe I'll build something and maybe where I can hang all my chemicals or maybe up on this headache rack. Uh, I don't think I'm going to install this other headache rack because it sucked when you would get in. You had this bracket that came out so far that you always catch your arm on. And it sucked. So anyway, that's my mobile detailing or mobile wash and express detail setup I'm working on so far. So if y'all like this, please like and subscribe and I will talk to you guys later. <laughs>